doing here? Okay, 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 listen, listen. I know I've been really, really bad with my uploads lately, but you know what? That doesn't give you the right to put me on the naughty list, okay? Please, I have a really good explanation for that. No, 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 please, 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 please. I, I, I don't want to be sent to the underworld. Please don't do this. Tell me, what can I do to get off of the naughty list, please? Hello, my darlings, I'm Twistay, and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a horror movie that is perfect for the holiday season. I'm gonna to talk to you about the 2015 Krampus. Krampus is a movie about a family that gets together for Christmas. There's a few good pe good ones and quite a few bad that deserve to be on the naughty list. So, when the youngest son, Max, gets his feelings hurt and his Christmas spirit is diminished, he rips up his letter to Santa, throws it in the air, and then that signals for Santa's shadow to come and raise some help for the family. That's right. It is the one and only legendary Krampus, and Krampus is going to teach them a thing or two about having good holiday cheer. I think the story behind this is really interesting because it has to do with old European folklore about the anti-Santa that instead of giving coal to naughty children, they actually take them and eat them. I kind of find that rather interesting and I wish that it was incorporated here in the States because if that were the case, I think a lot more children would have been on the good list if you get what I'm saying. This movie is the perfect combination of horror as well as comedy, so if you're one of those people that are really into horror comedies like me, you might most definitely enjoy this. But there's a few key moments where this movie is kind of slow, however, it does a big payoff when it comes to the horror part of the film, I must say. And you know what? I find it rather enjoyable because it is one heck of a ride. Alright my darlings, let's get down to business of what has and what it has not and I will let you know if Krampus is worth watching or if you need to find some other way to get off of the naughty list this year. There are two horror cliches. One of the cliches is when the big blizzard storm comes in, there is no cell phone or radio signals. So I guess it kind of works because once a blizzard or bad weather starts to happen, all forms of communication cease to exist. So I guess in a way it does kind of work, but at the same time it seems like a simply old cliche. Total amount of eerie moments, there are seven, and these seven eerie moments just sent a chill down my spine and made me feel completely uneasy. One eerie moment has to do with the whole entire family is down in the living room next to the fireplace as it's burning, and suddenly you hear laughter upstairs. That is spooky as hell because who else is up in the house? Total amount of suspenseful moments. There are five suspenseful moments and these five suspenseful moments really had me on the edge of my seat. One suspenseful moment has to do with the older sister meeting Krampus for the first time. The scene is built up perfectly because the sister is walking outside in the blizzard and the weather is just getting worse. The sun starts to go down and it becomes a lot darker and suddenly you see something on the rooftops. At first you kind of think, hmm, maybe that's a holiday decoration that has no lights on it. Nope. Suddenly you see it get taller and then jump from one household to the other and then just starts to chase the sister. It's just heart pounding. I love it. Total amount of jump scares. There are two jump scares. One jump scare is a good jump scare. The other one is a bad one. The good jump scare happens when the adults go upstairs into the attic and they're looking for some kids that have gone missing. They hear a crash going and then they suddenly realizes that it's one of Krampus's demonic minions. So that's a very good jump scare in my opinion because it's adding more tension to the scene. I'm gonna give Krampus four out of five stars because in all honesty, this was a lot of fun. Yes, it had some goofy moments like the uh, demented gingerbread men, but other than that, like, it really did send a chill down my spine. It was something lighthearted for the holiday season. It wasn't too dark. And all in all, it was, it was just fun. Have any of you guys seen Krampus? What do you think about it? What are your favorite 
holiday themed horror movies. Please write your comments down below and we'll have a discussion about that. Do you have a horror movie you would like for me to review? old or new, or even a foreign movie. Please write them down below and I'll get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you liked what you've seen, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. So, until next time my loves, happy holidays.